120 years ago, Independence Day represented Omaha's coming out party. Well, city leaders staged a World's Fair to show the world what Omaha was and could be. And this week will mark the 120th anniversary of Burlington Station, our KETV home. It opened July 4th, 1898, ready to help show off a city and welcome most of the 2.6 million people who would come to see the Trans-Mississippi Exposition. The old pictures give us a glimpse of the grandeur, Omaha's amazing achievement, the Trans-Mississippi and International Exposition of 1898. When this thing first started, it was, a, it was called the experiment, a great experiment, because we weren't sure we could pull this off. Dave Wells has done extensive research on the expo, how the city and the state came together to bring one of the country's largest events to a railroad town that was on the wrong financial track. It really was a recession out here. Turn that around, Omaha looked to Chicago and its 1893 World's Fair. Debuting George Ferris's new invention, that fair pulled in more than 26 million people. We saw how many people were drawn to Chicago. Let's see if we can draw them to Omaha. And the basic idea was to draw investors. To show East Coast investors that things had changed on the plains. This isn't the land of the buffalo and Native Americans and outhouses. I mean, this is a really great investment opportunity out here. And the expo was full of opportunity for the 5,000 construction workers who created what looked like extravagant buildings and big buildings. And most of them you could put a football field inside of it. Inside one building? In, inside of each one of the major buildings. They put up this giant slide called Shoot the Shoots. It was a water ride. And this archival film, actually from a few years later in St. Louis, shows exactly what it was like. Now, most importantly, in the end, no one who invested in the Omaha Expo was taken for a ride. Nobody lost their money. Everybody got their money back. It was a tremendous adventure, tremendous accomplishment. Now, the only sign remaining of the actual Expo here at Coons Park is this plaque. But there is another reminder, and it's a couple blocks to the south. The Burlington train station. Thomas Rogers Kimball's newly designed depot was the first thing many of the visitors saw when they got to Omaha. And even though it's changed over the years, was even abandoned for 40 years, it still has a role to play. So it is important to bring back those buildings and, and have people to go into them. If nothing else, just to remind them, this thing has a history.